In the intensive care unit at this East Toronto hospital, frontline healthcare workers are caring for the most critical COVID-19 patients. And right now, stress is all the way over. It's busy, it's somber, and as patients struggle to survive, the medical team struggles to cope. Resilience is a challenge, burnout is real. Then, amid a flurry of physicians and nurses, comes Philippa Dowood. I'm not a, uh, a therapist or a counselor. Uh, people will pull me into closets, into corners. She's the wellness coordinator. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> We're gonna get going. Ruby. And when she arrives, the mood here shifts. Dancing, in stark contrast to the sadness, pain and suffering that surrounds them. There's a lot of guilt. Um, I hear a lot of guilt in, in people saying, I shouldn't feel this way because I'm a certain age or I'm a mother. Like some of the literature would suggest that about 75 to 80 percent of physicians in North America are experiencing burnout. In understanding the mental health impact of the COVID pandemic on healthcare workers, studies point to past infectious disease outbreaks like SARS and the long lasting effects. What once got them through the day, says patient care coordinator Anne Lee, is no longer possible. We are not hugging each other anymore and we always have to have a mask and so, but you know what, we are trying our very best to just support each other verbally. The nationwide movement to thank those on the front lines a year into the pandemic has faded. This psychiatrist says it may be time to revive it. Feeling appreciated by your community really does make a difference in, uh, in emboldening your own personal resilience. Back in the ICU, the team is moving and grooving. When you leave, they're laughing and they're smiling. And that, I believe, has enabled a greater conversation. Staff are not alone, and it's okay to not be okay. A brief reprieve from the reality of caring for patients with COVID-19. Karen Lieberman, Global News, Toronto.